Hello, I'm Daniel Lewis, and now, the history of atomic chemistry. The first model was by Democritus, around 400 BCE, who gave us the word for atom from the Greek word atomos, which means unable to cut, because atoms were thought to be indivisible particles. Next, around 500 BCE, all of reality was thought to be made of fire. This idea came from Heraclitus, and somehow it made sense. Aristotle, around 350 BCE, also used fire, but as one of the four of elements of the earth, which included fire, earth, water, and air. There was no particle in his model. This is where alchemy stems from, because all matter was thought to be made of these four elements. Nobody was thinking about the atom for about 2,000 years after that, and Democritus' model was brought back by Dalton in the 1800s, called an atom, and his model was called the Solid Sphere Model. He had these five postulates of matter, and as of now, three have been proven wrong, but two still stand. Democritus' and Dalton's indivisible particle was found to be made of smaller particles, subatomic particles, if you will, through an experiment with the cathode ray tube by J.J. Thomson in 1840. The cathode ray tube experiment showed a beam of negatively charged particles that were repelled by the negative part of a magnet and attracted to the positive side, meaning that there was a negatively charged particle. Thomson then knew that there must be a positively charged particle in the atom. He gave us the plum pudding model, with the negatively charged particles, known as electrons, 2,000 times smaller than the atom, and protons, also in the atom, arranged evenly. Now comes the gold foil experiment, which gave humans the existence of the nucleus. In 1911, Rutherford did the gold foil experiment, shooting alpha particles, identical to a helium nucleus, at gold foil, expecting them to pass through. But what happened was that some of them bounced or bent off of the gold foil, meaning that the positive charge of an atom had to be concentrated at the center, giving us a nucleus and a nuclear model. Next, by Niels Bohr in 1913, the Bohr model, also called the Solar System model. He made this by using calculations and observations from previous experiments. The wavelengths of light emitted from the cathode ray tube experiment meant that the electrons had different energy levels and existed at specific distances from the nucleus. His model was changing the nuclear model to have its electrons in different energy levels or orbitals around the nucleus. Niels Bohr thought that one could almost predict where an electron is by its energy levels. In 1926, Schrodinger and Heisenberg said that it is impossible to predict the speed and location of electrons, and gave, the, and gave humanity the electron cloud model, or quantum mechanical model. The rigid ring orbitals of the Bohr model dissolved into clouds, and that there are areas around an atom where electrons would be more likely to be found. The location of electrons relative to a nucleus was shown by probabilities in this model. Until 1932, the electrons and protons were alone in the electron cloud model. And then came the neutron. James Chadwick found that the proton is not all of the mass in the atom's nucleus, and that there was a particle with neutral charge in the nucleus with almost the same mass as a proton. And looking for this, he found the neutron, and added it to the nucleus of the quantum mechanical model slash electron cloud model. Thanks for watching, I hope this made sense.